Hey guys, my name is Brian. Welcome to Power Move Engineering. Wanted to talk to you guys today about our brand new UMC 500. We really thought it was just going to add a whole new level of automation to our shop and uh, we're really excited to finally have it here. We're a few months in and uh, finally getting the hang of it. So we'll show you around. One of the biggest problems that we wanted to solve with this machine was just our lack of overall automation. Uh, traditional methods will, will machine just the first operation of a part and we'll go through a whole round of parts and then we switch everything over to a new setup and then basically start that next operation. Uh, with this, we are, have it set up where we are always getting completed parts for every machine cycle. So basically what that translates to is uh, we go straight from raw material to finished and out the door as quickly and as hands off as possible. Basically that translates to saving time and it gives us the ability to walk away from the machine for a longer amount of time. So we can answer emails, we can work on new jobs, we can you know, work closer with our customers, we can focus on quality control and all sorts of other aspects of the machine shop environment that we haven't been able to do until we've really stepped up our game with this new machine. Perfect example of this is these putter heads that we've been making for a customer of ours, uh, Embrace Putters. These are something that we had made with traditional three axis machinery beforehand, but due to some of the geometry and the amount of um, orientations that the parts had to be held in, it really just was uh, a, a big pain, especially when there was many different models of the same uh, putter. So what this gives us the ability to do is to really get all those angles and uh, setups more programmed um, and less with custom fixturing, essentially. So although with these parts, there may end up being the same amount of operations, we're able to knock out all of those operations while we're doing other things. Essentially, that's what it all comes down to, is we want the machines to run without us even thinking about it. A few of the other options that we got included with this machine uh, to increase our automation capabilities, uh, we have a uh, 50 side mount tool changer, which was a big benefit over what we were previously working with. Uh, we have through spindle coolant, through spindle air blast, 15k spindle which really gives us the ability to push those small tools really fast the first few weeks of us owning this machine we spent just working on developing our own double air vice system where we have now a total of three air vices within the machine one which came with it and two which we implemented ourselves and again that just goes back to speak on the uh, the full-blown automation from raw material to finished part as quickly as possible. We have the ability to hold three separate parts, or in this case at the moment, we're actually holding a total of six. If we were to go back and do this custom implementation again, uh, we would probably find a way um, to limit the height and uh, the reason that is, is the machine's total Z travel is not as great as we may have anticipated with this. So more of a low profile design here would have been better in the long run. And so we might actually be working on a product here soon, which solves that problem. Um, but for anyone out there looking to get this same exact machine, if you wanna add vices on the side of the trunnion, it's definitely worth looking into your total Z travel of the machine as compared to something like a UMC 750 or a UMC 1000. Another thing we included with this machine is uh, 20 shrink fit holders and a shrink fit machine, which uh, heats and cools it and gives you the ability to hold tooling in this way, which really gives clearance around your vise whenever you're working in these uh, inverted areas. And you know, if you guys wanna know more about that machine, we really like it. We can do a review on that as well. Another issue that we've had with this machine, I guess I'll say, is when you're really starting to make chips in this machine, the chips have the ability to build up in all these nooks and crannies around the inside of the machine that don't get washed down into the chip conveyor very well. So we're working on a new product which solves that issue as well. Basically, it's a uh, valve with a bunch of tubes that essentially can get the coolant flow to just the right places and give you the ability to run these machines overnight and really take it to that next level of automation. Because we have really actually seen that the chip buildup can become, uh, in, you know, it'll interfere with the trunnion and can really start to cause some other issues that 
take away from the total automation of the machine. So for anyone considering a machine like this, there's a lot to take into consideration when you're looking into the total um, workflow and uh, you know how to, how to make good parts, how to not crash the machine, how to make sure your program is uh, post-processing correctly. There's a lot that I couldn't figure out until the machine was here. So you really do kind of got to dive off the deep end and just say, whatever comes our way, we'll, we'll figure it out. That's, that was at least my mentality towards it. We're now a few months in and we're, we're really starting to finally get it and really make good quality parts. Um, and you know, I was worried about that time taking too long, but one thing with jumping into a machine like this that you got to realize is just that, it, you know, you're not going to be making good parts on day one, a unless you guys already have similar machinery. Uh, there's just a lot more that goes into it. Um, than you know, you may think, but you know, don't let that get you down because if I can do it, you guys can do it. It really is the next step up from traditional three axis machining, but I think at the end of the day, it's definitely worth it. That is our quick review on the UMC 500. We got so many other points that we could talk about it on, but there's all sorts of other stuff that we got going on here too that we're definitely gonna be diving into. So stick around, you know, we got a CNC saw, we got a new rotary screw compressor, which we just did a full new uh, line install for that. You know, we got 3D printing. Uh, we got all sorts of stuff going on. So let us know what else you guys want to hear. Um, we'll be glad to talk about it. Stick around, subscribe. Uh, again, this is Brian from Power Move Engineering. See you on the next video.